The Flash is a movie that's coming out in June. And then, welcome back to my series of Flash related reviews. And uh, last week we talked about the Flashpoint Paradox movie. Uh, now we're talking about the 1990. I forget what year this came out, but uh, 1990, 1991 uh, uh, TV show that came out. And, uh, you know, most people know The Flash from the new CW, newer, well, not new anymore, it's over now, but, you know, the CW show. And a lot of people don't know that there was actually a Flash TV show in the 90s. And I'm actually a pretty big fan of this show. It's not good. It's definitely very cheesy, but I think it's fun. Kind of like in the same way I watched the uh, Incredible Hulk TV show with Luke Ferrigno. Yeah, it's goofy and cheesy, but there's still some fun to it, and I enjoy that. And this definitely has that uh, energy to it, this show. Though, I do think this show on rewatch has definitely lowered on my feelings on it. I do think I like this show less on rewatch. Because while this show is fun, it's not very good. And it, oh, and it was always not very good, but in a fun way. This one, this time I really started to know the faults more. First of all, you barely see... Bear... Bear... bear, 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 bear words... Uh, you barely see Barry Allen in the suit in this show, and when you do, it's all at, it's all dark and in shadows, and it doesn't look great. And you can tell that was a budgetary thing. Most of the, and then it's like, you know, like Iris, his girlfriend in the, you know, in comics and TV shows and movies is just like she's just kind of non-existent in a lot of this season you can tell that there, there's probably some things that they would expand upon like that into the next season possibly there's rumors of that anyways but like you know and then john wesley ship he's fun as the character he's not my pick for the character but he worked i actually met him at a comic con actually behind me i have a funko pop of his character from the newer flash series that he signed because if you know uh the actor, he actually plays Jay Garrick in the new Flash show, and he also played, he actually came back to reprise his role as this character in the show. Uh, but yeah, I think that's fun. You know, and it's a goofy show. I think the, I think what hurts the show the most to me is just like how much it tries to be like Batman. Like the Michael Keaton Batman stuff. It's dark. Um, you gotta remember the year before this uh, show came out, Batman 89 had come out, and I'm sure that while they were filming this, they're like, alright, we need to make this look like Batman 89. A lot of the music in the show feels like Dan something Danny Elfman would compose, like, kind of feels like a knockoff to Danny Elfman. A lot of the, the action scenes and things like that feel like they're dark and at night. It just does not feel like that and then you know i feel like john wesley ship when he's not actually playing the flash he's playing uh barry allen i feel like he was probably directed to give more of like a michael keaton type performance to it and never felt very weak to me and i just overall it's not my particular favorite flash but as a dc fan and just like you know someone who likes fun and kind of cheesier shows from back in the day this is a fun show you can actually get this whole series for pretty cheap i bought this at walmart for literally 10 bucks ten dollars for this like think about that it's a great deal um and there's about 22 episodes you know there's six discs in here and you got a episode guide with all the various episodes and cool things there you know just to kind of show that off so yeah, I hopefully they do a remaster of this to Blu-ray like they've done with like the Linda Carter stuff and Adam West stuff. But uh, yeah, thought this would be a fun video to make because I, I bought this recently and I was like, well, you know, I bought this recently. I'm doing these flash reviews. Why not? I'm I'm not gonna do the CW show because that's like nine seasons of a show and I don't have time to watch all that before the newer Flash show or not newer Flash show, newer Fla the new Flash movie comes out, but I did want to make some fun videos talking about it. Um, I, I'm going to do the uh, movie tie-in graphic novel when I get that in the mail, though. That's up for pre-order, so that will probably be coming out the week after this, hopefully. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about some cool DC stuff uh, in relation to this cool Flash movie that I'm excited about. Maybe I'll try to do more of these type things related to... Uh, DC stuff because I, at the end of the day I'm a huge DC fan and I want an excuse to talk about DC stuff but hey you know 
Let me know your thoughts, like, share, and subscribe.